morning from Black Tino Farms. So this is the end of September video, very short. I'm just going to focus on uh, the two greenhouses that I'm currently working on. This tomato house is still going strong. Doesn't make sense to keep updating you on the tomatoes, they just keep growing. So in here we have the herb house. So we got the basil. I just cut down some of the basil because I didn't like how some of the leaves were growing here. I had basil spread out on other areas of the garden, but I just wanted to trim it down to get rid of the, these, whatever is causing these spots. Then I cut some of the chives and thymes. So I am going to be drying them. So here, up here, we have the parsley and um, the marjoram and oregano. Um, down here, remember I planted some cilantro? So it's coming through now. Not much, but at least I have some. And the dill again is coming through. I cut so much of the rosemary. Look at this. A large Ziploc bag full of rosemary. I'm going to dry this inside. Then I have um, sage. Look at that condensation because it's so hot in here. And then I'm also going to dry some of the chives. I love chives with um, sour cream on a um, baked potato. Oh my gosh. Love it. So this bed is... is I'm, I'm not going to plant anything during this uh, the winter time. But I'm, I am going to put the doors on the each end of this greenhouse and try to keep the herbs going. And over here, I am going to be picking some of the Brussels sprouts. You can see some here. In this house, the Brussels sprouts is not that bad. Oh, look at that spider. Creepy. Um, so we do eat from here. Over here, I am planting some um, garlic over the winter and and also here is a sweet onion and lavender just quickly again I am going to rest this winter it's so much work coming out to to water and maintain and trim and so whatever is growing here I'm just going to continue so we have the carrots and the beets and we have celery. And another thing, I am going to use this house for the, as a chicken coop. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So I would love for the chickens to come in here and poop all they want. Give me some free fertilizer for next season's garden. So... So let's swing over here into our hot pepper house, which is basically a jungle. Like, look at the, I had the door open because it was a little bit hot. I did water in here, but look at the current temperature in here. Amazing. When I had the door closed, um, the temperature in here was 40 degrees Celsius. Quickly look at these sweet peppers. They are turning and Christian told me the Mad Hatter peppers are turning too. So look at this beautiful red, met, red Hatter. This plant, the Mad Hatter plant, it grows like trees. It's unbelievable how much, how tall they grow. And then back over here, we do have some chilies, abundance of chilies. So let's just take a look down here. Look at how, look how beautiful that red is. The length of it too. Look at that. And then we have another kind of chili over here. These are like Asian chilies, right? Let's swing on to the other side. Again, we have the sweet long peppers here. And we have orange bell peppers, beautiful. And then what else over here? Some more. Oh, these purple peppers are actually turning red. Look at that. So it looks like it starts out purple and then it turns red. 
did not know that. And we also, oh my gosh, look at this basil plant. Look how tall that is. I swear to you, basil grows so well in, um, in this house with the peppers. And over here, more pablanos. Look how big this one is. I'm gonna just take my hand so you see the, the difference here in the size. Beautiful. And let's see how uh, the jalapenos are, are doing. I know I have some on this side. Let's see. Yeah. There's some here. Christian did tell me that some of them turned red. Let me see if I can. Oh, over here. Look at that. They're turning red. These are jalapenos turning red. I wonder if that means that it's hotter. Look how big this one is. Let's see if I can get that. Look at my hand. Wow. And we have some beautiful orange habaneros. Orange habaneros. Let's see if I can get into this bushel here. Look at that. In here, it's like a jungle in here. Look at that, so beautiful. So, I'm reaching out to my family. Do you guys want and friends? Do you guys want some peppers? Like I said, I promise I'll make it short this month. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Black Tino Farms. See you next time.